And in this segment tonight, the level of opposition to the yes vote campaign in the upcoming referendum is generating a lot of anxiety. This seemingly unusual agenda is our focus on story of the week. Grace Hamwasari has more. The referendum seeks the opinion of Ghanaians on whether the election of metropolitan, municipal and district chief executives should be partisan or not. The constitution requires a minimum of 40% voter turnout for the referendum to be valid. But Article 290, an entrenched provision of the 1992 constitution, prohibits political parties from sponsoring candidates for elections at the district assembly and lower local government units. A CDD Afrobarometer survey showed that more than half of Ghanaians are even not aware of the upcoming December 17 referendum. Legal practitioner Samson Ladi Ayenene highlights the dangers inherent in conducting the referendum and a subsequent amendment of Clause 55. Amending Article 55.3 does not make the DCE position elective. It's Article 243. That, unlike Article 55.3, is not an entrenched provision of the Constitution. It does not require a referendum. The opposition National Democratic Congress has also maintained a stiff opposition to the idea, arguing that it will introduce unhealthy politicization as a grassroots. Pressure group Concerned Voters Movement in a statement signed by its president, Raza Kojopoku, also wants a new patriotic party and government to discontinue the Yes Vote campaign. The National House of Chiefs, in a statement signed by its president, Togbi Afede the 14th, is also advocating a no vote. But chairman of the Governance Committee of the National House of Chiefs, Anomahin of Seshu Yamiaso in the Western Region, or Jeho Hoyao JB II, dismissed the claim, saying, well, we apologize for the poor quality of the sound, but so far, in all referendums that have happened, including the recent OT1, it's only back in the day, on March 30, 1978, when Acham Kutu Achampong's union government referendum did not get the yes vote. Let's see how this one will go.